Hi there. Today's video is entitled From Docker to Podman. We enhance container security in Alexi on Proxmox. Docker is ideal for home labs where simplicity and convenience are key. For business use, Docker's root privileges increase the hacker attack surface. The problem is containers running as root can escalate privileges, making your system vulnerable. Podman eliminates this risk by running the containers without root privileges by default. This separation minimizes the impact of potential container exploits. One of the differences between Docker and Podman Docker uses daemons, whereas Podman has a daemonless architecture. This also reduces the chance of centralized attack vectors. We encourage you to create a sandbox so that you can test Podman. We have provided the link down below to the instructions for this video. Now, without further ado, Let's get our hands dirty. We said get our hands dirty. In Proxmox, we created a template, Ubuntu 2404. This is the latest Ubuntu. And then from this template, we ran this command, clone. And we created this clone here, which we called Podman Sandbox. And Podman Sandbox, we opened the terminal to that. Here, we want to create a stacks folder in the opt folder. We need to do that as root, sudo su dash. We run this command to make the directory. We decided our user should have full access of the opt folder. We run this command, chown, and this will recursively give us all the folders inside the opt for our user. And then we exit. Now we are our user, not root. You can see this is the difference between Podman and Docker. When I did my demos in Docker, I was always running as root. Since this is a Linux machine, Ubuntu Linux, we want to update the OS. Our machine is fairly up to date. We will now install Podman running this command. However, we've already done that on our machine, so we are not going to do that. This is the command you will run. After you've run that, you need to reboot the machine. We've already done that, so we're not going to do that. And let's clear the screen. I forgot to mention you needed to test podman before you reboot it. So run the command podman dash dash version. That's good. You will notice the command podman pull is identical to that of docker, docker pull. There is a one difference. We are specifying that we want to pull a file out of the Docker repository. If we don't do that, it'll try to pull it out of the Podman repository. Great. In Docker, you have an image LS. You also have this in Podman. You can see I've been quite busy on this machine. So I've got a couple of images there. That's fine. Let's clear the screen. We did Podman pull. Now we're going to do Podman run. And if we open our browser, port 8090, Let's paste the URL in there. Great. If we run Podman PS, we should see the containers running on this machine. 
This is the same as Docker PS. I now want to stop these machines, so I'm going to say Podman stop and type the, the name of the machine. And likewise the other one. I should now run Podman container prune and this should remove every running container that's been stopped. There they are. And if we go and run Podman PS now, there's nothing running. Right. Let's clear the screen. We now want to install Podman Compose. This is the equivalent of Docker Compose. And since it's an Ubuntu machine, the command will be apt install Podman Compose. There we are. I've already installed it on my machine, but that's the command you will run. You will then run Podman Compose dash dash version. Great, it's working. Clear the screen. We're now going to create a folder called Nginx inside our Stacks folder. We now need to go to this folder, CD. We will now create a Compose file. So this is the command you will run. You will then go to our instructions and underneath this section here, you will copy this. After doing that, we will then run commands over here. We will run this command. No, let's clear the screen. We will run this command. Then we will run this command. And then we will run this command. Let's clear the screen. So if you look here, you'll see it's going to open up port 8090 externally and internally port 80. So I should be able to say Docker Compose app. I beg your pardon, Podman Compose app. And while this is running, I should open up my browser. To this URL. And it works. This is excellent. As you can see, this was quite easy to do. I would say it was an interesting exercise because we are doing things in Podman that we are used to doing in Docker. And uh, we got the expected results. Now, as we mentioned earlier, this is more useful in a corporate environment. As we recommended, you created the sandbox and then you did this in your sandbox. We trust you found this video interesting. Please give us a like. Please subscribe to our channel as we haven't reached our target yet. And with that we say, Grazie mille a me. Buona nota. Sif caristos in other fe. Paia danki friend tot sins. Domo arigato tomadachi sayonara.